In this video I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 2742E to your Mac computer. This could be a MacBook, an iMac or any sort of Mac laptops and desktops. So let's get started right away. The first thing we need to do is to put this printer into pairing mode. This way the Mac will be able to see the printer. So how do you do this? Well first thing you need to turn on the printer okay there's something on the screen it's turned on make sure that there's some paper here because the printer will print one page just to confirm that everything is okay and now what you need to do is to make sure that on right on the left side of this wi-fi button the light should be blinking if it's not blinking like here it means that the printer is not in pairing mode and we need to put it so how do you do this you need to press this button the wi-fi button and the X button both for two seconds until this power button starts blinking. I'm pressing one, two, and now it's blinking. I can release and I'll just wait. The printer will print something over here. Perfect. We actually do not need this page, but the most important thing is that now the Wi-Fi button is blinking. Perfect. Now we need to go on the Mac computer. Open the App Store on your Mac because we need to download an app called HP Smart. So go in the search bar here, type HP Smart like this and you need to download this app over here. In my case, I simply need to update it because I already had it. So I'll go ahead and open the app. Once you open the HP Smart App, on the top here, you're going to see all the printers that are connected to your Mac. In my case, I have many since I make printer tutorials on my YouTube channel, so this is why I see many. But in your case, you may only see Setup or Add Printer. You need to click on this button. If you do not see this button, click on the small icon on the top right corner. It's absolutely the same thing. Okay, so I'll click on it and then click on Get Started wait a few seconds because now the computer will try to connect to the printer and you should see your printer appearing in this list over here in just about 10 15 20 seconds if nothing is appearing even after a minute what you need to do is to simply unplug the printer from the power source like this wait just five seconds blah 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 and then plug it back. Then you need to turn it on. Okay, the printer is turned on and the Wi-Fi light over here is indeed blinking. So we'll just go back on the computer. And I didn't even quit the HP Smart app. I didn't touch my Mac and here we go, it appeared. So if you don't see it the first time, simply unplug the printer, plug it back again. It's a bug. I don't know. It's HP problems. So click on your printer once you see it on the list. And now we have to um, connect to the Wi-Fi network by... You just need to wait over here uh, your Wi-Fi network name will be displayed and you need to enter the password of that network. Once it's done press the continue button. It will ask you to press the I button that is located over here on your printer. It's blinking so simply press it once and the setup will continue on the screen. Next step once you get this screen is to press continue. Then you'll see a series of recommendations. You just have to skip through them by clicking the right side arrow. At the end, they'll just ask you press the blinking resume button on the printer. It's this button right below the X button, okay? In my case, it's not even blinking. They say blinking here, but mine is not even doing that. So I'll just press on it once. This is another bug from HP, I'm sorry to say. But what you need to do now is simply quit the HP Smart App because there is no way around this. If yours is blinking, go ahead and, and tap on it and you'll be able to continue the setup. But if not, simply close the app 
and then launch it back again. Once you launched back the app, and by the way, you can do this even if the button here was blinking, you're gonna see the uh, HP printer has been added into your HP Smart App. Okay, so it's over here. You can even see the ink levels on the right side. So this is the main page of your HP Smart App. And unfortunately, you'll need an HP account and to be logged in to be using any of these. This is how HP does it. It's free to create an account. I'm not talking about the HP Plus account. That's a subscription model. I'm talking just a basic HP account with an email. If you don't have one, you need to go over here where it says account and you'll be able to create one. Once it's created, you'll be able to print photos print document simply by clicking these tiles. It's very uh, straightforward once you click on them or also printer scan because this printer has a scanner over here. Just one thing that you need to remember is to place the document facing down and with the top part on the right side like this and align it with this corner like this. Close the lid and go ahead and go, go through a printer scan here and it's very easy just have to click scan the scan button here and you'll be able to save it and share it on social media unfortunately hp does not make this setup quite easy and it's a shame because such a big company you thought that they will invest to make these printer more user friendly but now you need to go through many different screens and sometimes as you just saw it doesn't even work the first time so leave a comment down below if you encounter other problems like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video